Hey y'all, I'm going to do a quick video and demonstrate on how to uh, update your firmware on any of the AGM Rattler line or pretty much this process is for any AGM product to update the firmware if the firmware is available. Uh, first thing you want to do is go to the AGM Global Vision uh, website. Um, you'll want to scroll down to the bottom uh, down here. And you'll find that the, over here on the website at the bottom it says firmware updates. You'll click that. And I apologize, my internet's a little slow. I'm doing this kind of on the go on my laptop and my cell phone. So um, it's good to always read through this stuff, um, especially the update instructions, and kind of go through this and follow these directions to a T. I think the problem with a lot of people is having is these directions, they don't know the verbiage um, the AGM is using on where to put the files and the process and so on. Um, if you look down here on the bottom, you can see the different firmwares. Uh, also, some people that have the Rattlers, they've been downloading the TM25 update instead of the TS25. Um, same with the TM15. Um, and the TM10, both the Taipans, people have been downloading the TM160 firmware trying to get it to work on these. That will not work. It won't process. It won't upgrade. So make sure you're downloading your correct, uh, your correct uh, um, firmware update. Um, once you have, um, you'll go here, click download. Uh, it'll take you into another screen. You will have to set up an account. Um... You'll go log into your account. And it'll bring you to this page. This is where you actually download your firmware. Today we're going to show you how to do the Rattler. Um, this is the second firmware that update that I know of that they've come out with. Uh, you will click that and download it. Since I've already got it downloaded... Uh, we will just go into that file. Um, as you can see, we'll go in here to downloads. Um, so you will double click that file. Once it's downloaded, it is called a zip file. Um, you'll need, most computers will come with the program on them that can automatically do it. But once you double click that file that was downloaded, a screen like this similar or a program similar to this will pop up. You'll go over here to extract. You just hit extract. I put all my stuff in the folder called downloads. Um, you'll extract it to that. Remember where the folder you extracted it to because you'll have to go back into that folder um, to access the files. So once you do, the folder will pop up and they'll look like this. You'll have three folders. Okay. Um, I start with the first folder. You just open it up. You'll see this file, digicap.dev. I'll show you each folder has that same file name okay now with the Rattler TS25 you have to go through in each one of these folders here you have to put one file at a time each file is at its, its own upgrade so we'll open this first one um, then you'll go get your scope I have it plugged in with the cable provided. You'll need to make sure you are using a high speed USB cable. And the way to tell, it'll have the blue end like this on that end. And then also, so we'll plug it into the, to the scope there. You'll turn it on. All right, it'll turn on. And I apologize, guys, I'm doing this with two hands. I don't have no help, so bear with me. So once your scope is on, you'll need to make sure that your Wi-Fi is disabled. It'll take 
20 seconds for the scope to come all the way up. Once it's up, you'll see the battery up there. Make sure your, your um, Wi-Fi hotspot is shut off on the scope. Once it comes up, you'll have a folder pop up like this. This is what AGM refers to as the root directory, I believe is the verbiage they use. This is where, let me move this over. I like having both of these folders open side by side. So we'll do that. So this digicap.dav, this file here, which that is in all three of those folders. So you will hit this, you'll right click that file. You will go down here to copy and you'll come back over to where this is. Now a lot of guys are going in and they're clicking this DCIM file and they're putting that digicap.dav file inside of this folder. That is not where it goes. It will not work to upgrade that way. You have to put it in the root and by the root I mean USB drive. Your drive number will change depending on what drives are done. Like my local C is uh, disk C. Um, I have another um, uh, partition on this hard drive called backup. And then I also have a uh, uh, SD card in this laptop. And that shows up as that secure digital, which is drive D. E is what we're going to be doing. Nine times out of ten, when you plug your scope in, this folder that says DCIM will automatically pop up. Sometimes you may have a a uh, box down here that says this file this drive is corrupted. Would you like to format it? Do not do that. Just hit it. Say do not format. Just open up without formatting. When that dialog box pops up, and it'll bring you to this screen. Now you have to go here. You press paste. Now that fo folder is in there. Okay. So now what you do is you come over here, close out that folder. And this is the folder where we just copied that digicap.dav and we put it into the root folder of the scope. Now pick your scope back up. You'll hit hold the power button for five seconds. That will shut the scope off, as you can see. Then turn the scope back on it'll power on it'll boot up and you'll see on the computer that screen there's that box there and if you were to go and click that box it would pop up but now You have that file in there. So close that. Now we're upgrading. For whatever reason, you have got to close back out of that folder that pops up that shows the DCIM folder and that digicap.dav file we just copied into that root directory. Once you close that folder, it'll start upgrading. As you can see, I don't know if I can get it to focus. But right now, we are upgrading. Um, I don't know the times on each file that it takes to upgrade it. But just let it do its thing. The scope will automatically restart on its own once the upgrade is finished installing. So we will leave that there. Now you'll want to go back to the, to the files you extracted. So we just did this FPGA firmware. Now we're going to click on the main firmware. This is our next. But again, you have to wait till this is done upgrading. Alright, I paused the video just for a second. Um, but again, that first file is still upgrading and going through the process um, I'll show you how to do each file 
but the way we did that first file on upgrading is how you do each one of these files. So you open it back up, you'll go right click it, go to copy, and once this is done upgrading, it'll restart. You'll get the root directory will pop back up automatically once the scope has restarted and once that happens I'll show you here in a second once the scope is done upgrading but that digicap.dav file that we put in there the first one it will no longer be in there with the DCIM folder in that root directory which meaning that means you had a successful firmware update or upgrade however you want to look at it but if I remember right, this first that first file, the the FPGA firmware uh, takes the longest to go. Um, do not restart the scope. I know it feels like right now because it's been going for a few minutes. You feel like it's probably hanging up and it's not upgrading. Just let it do its thing. Try not to get impatient with it. And I'm going to pause you guys. Um, and I'll be right back once this is uh, done upgrading this first file, the FPGA firmware. And then I'll show you what to do and how to put the next one, which it's the same process. <laughs> 